Hello friends, welcome to your channel Phenomen. Today we will be discussing the most awaited NFO that is new fund offer which has already opened on the 5th of Jan 2022 and which will going to close on 14th Jan 2022. Name of the company who is launching the NFO is Nippon India Mutual Fund and the theme for this NFO will be auto theme so yes completely auto sector will be theme for the nfo now further we will discuss so this nfo will invest in the top 15 automobile sector stock at one go and this nfo is based on the etf it is an open-ended scheme which will be based on the nifty auto index so this etf is completely will copy or replicate the nifty auto index so whatever shares are there in the auto nifty auto index will be here in this etf so why this etf is very important now there are two reasons since the auto sector has not performed since last four to five years and now the government is supporting the Indian automobile industry so that they can perform better and in near future we can see a tremendous growth in the automobile sector. We have already made a video in Diwali in that we have already taken a three shares which were from the auto sector and we had discuss in this video that why we are selecting auto theme for this Diwali peak because auto sector has not performed since last two to three years so in near future we expect the sector will do a well and now this is the best time where Nippon India has come up with the auto theme NFO and which is based on ETF so now we will discuss the investment rational objective or benefit of this NFO so here the investor will get an exposure to the top 15 company which will represent the auto sector companies which are related or incidental to the auto sector like four wheeler two wheeler three wheeler even auto ancillaries that is the company who are supplying the auto parts will be there then tires company all there so you will get a mixed package of all the auto sector including tires and auto ancillaries so why this is necessary to invest in multiple stocks so it will reduce your portfolio risk and you will get a better diversification in these stocks instead of investing in one particular stock you will get a 15 baskets of the 15 stock and hence your portfolio risk will be reduced and your uh, returns will be maximized here you will get a real time basis benefit here you can trade the etf like any other share online on bse and nsc here the cost of the trading will be low as compared to the mutual fund in mutual fund you have to pay the expense ratio here there will be a little brokerage charges which broker charge normally and which is very low so these are the benefits and key rationale of the NFO. Now we will discuss the valuations of the Nifty Auto Index. As you can see, these are the five-year data where you can see from 17 to 2021, the Nifty Index has not performed at all. So in 2017, it was Nifty Index price was 9880, whereas at the present scenario, it is 10,930. So it has not performed at all. It is there and there only in five years period. So as you also can compare in 31st March 2018, Nifty Auto Index was at 8, 10,821 and in 31st December 2020, it is there only 10,936. So it has not performed. It is under performance sector since last four to five years. Now coming to the PE ratio, price earning ratio. So as you have observed that in March 2018, Nifty Auto Index was 10,821. There the Nifty PE ratio was 35. And at present it is same 10,000 but Nifty P auto index P ratio has increased to 61. Why it happened? Because when you calculate the price earning ratio in denominator you take the earnings. When earning decreases the P ratio increases. So as you have observed since last 2 to 3 years earnings of the auto sector is not up to the mark and as a result the earning has decreased and as a result PE has increased. So we expect that in future the earnings uh, auto sector will do a well and as a result earning will increase and as a result PE will automatically gets reduced. 
now come to the price to book ratio so it is ranging from 4 to 6 during last 5 years and what will be the component of this ETF so it's very fantastic component first is Maruti Sizikari one and only India's number one car manufacturer company Maruti four wheeler Tata Motor also four wheeler then Mahindra and Mahindra first three are four wheeler then uh, four wheeler sector then Bajaj Auto Aishar Motor Hero Motor Car from the two wheeler sector then Bal Krishna Industry Bharat Forge these are from the auto ancillary company Ashok Leland is in is uh, combination of all four wheeler tractors actor etc then tube investment then mrf is from the tire sector bosch company is also from the auto parts then tvs motor is also a combination of all uh, two wheeler tire etc then excite industry and amaraja battery these are from the auto parts that is supplying the batteries to this uh, two wheelers companies now finally we will discuss this scheme detail as we have already discussed nf has already opened on fifth and will go to close on 14th and the benchmark we have already discussed it is based on the nifty auto index the name of the fund manager will be mehul dama now there will be no entry or exit load for application of nfo now the minimum application for this nfo will be rupees 1000 yes you can apply this nfo with 1000 rupees also if you feel that video is useful to you then please do like our video and please subscribe to our channel phenomenon if you have still not subscribed it and press the bell button so that you will get the notifications for the next videos and also please comment it in the comment box on which topic you want to watch the next videos